Okay, the bolts on the manifold are, uh, these are the ones that mounted up in here there. Mostly the same size, except there's two longer ones that go in here. And these two longer ones, the same size. So, it's a manifold bolt box. There's another long bolt on the manifold that goes in here. It's a longer one. Longest yet. Okay, last but not least, these long ones have to come out as well. These are the same length. And there are two on this side. <clears throat> These are all four the same length. And uh, they actually match the length of that other log one we took out. So that's nice. <clears throat> okay, we'll take this connector off next. And that one. Okay, there was one, this bolt here needed to come out and it is actually the very longest bolt of the manifold. Okay, here's the passenger side manifold. Actually not bad looking. I've seen others much, much worse carbon buildup, but we can see that the throw flaps uh, the linkage has worn out significantly and they don't move evenly which is a common issue with these <clears throat> so that is the passenger side manifold there it is taken out that's where it goes and uh, <coughs> earlier I had said we could see the oil cooler here, but it's actually underneath this guy. So that's the oil cooler right there. This hose was pretty easy to remove. This uh, clip worked, but I'll replace it with a screw tightened one. We just have another hose left here. large one it's also got a looks like a removable tie on it it might be possible to take that junction out there instead that's just a clip fitting on there might be able to get that out and it's easier so taking that clip loose over there did work I was able to slide that pipe that came out pretty easily. It just pulls out when the clip's removed. Uh, the manifolds, they're off now. And this is the oil cooler. <laughs>